What up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Nudge Report. I'm your host, Pablo, and joining me, as always, is Mr. Brian Show. Brian, I found a way to watch Madden Web by mistake. I clicked on the link, and I was taken to a bootleg version, a Spanish version, Brian. So I watched the movie Madden Web with my son, and I figured I'm not going to sit still and watch this movie and really try to focus I might as well do some exercising and do it under some duress, you know? That's the only way I can watch this film, with, with a mean face, with a Mr. T face. That's the only way I can watch this film, Madam Web. So, Brian, I saw it, Brian, and I gotta let you, because you saw it in the theaters, you had some an audience, I don't know if you did, but you had perhaps some people in the audience watching the movie. What was the reaction? What was your reaction? How many times did you want to walk out? So... I saw it on Valentine's Day. I saw it in the morning. Wow. Um, theater was actually like a third full. I was shocked at how many people were actually sitting there. Now, apparently we were a pretty high percentage of the box office because it's been a box office disaster. Uh, by the numbers, <laughs> this, this movie made, I think, $25 million from Wednesday wow. through. It's projected to make 25 from Wednesday through President's Day, which is horrific. Um, and so the global is about 50 and given the word, given, given the reception, right? So the critical reception, 13%, 13% on Rotten Tomatoes. But the thing is the audience score. So C plus for the letter, but the audience number on Rotten Tomatoes is at 54, which is compared to <laughs> Morbius at 71. Wow. So this, this movie probably very likely is going to finish its total box office run well south of a hundred remember hundred million dollars remember we had the debate about like the marvels marvels are 200 million dollars look at <laughs> solid right now compared to this movie which the rumored budget was like 80 to 100 they're still gonna oh, lose there they're still gonna God. take a bath on this movie i was watching greece and it, and, and it reminded me of that scene um when was was Danny Zuko's Kaniki? Can you go? So <laughs> here's my here's my first question because you, since you've seen it, I have questions. I, yeah, this yeah, one's gonna be a fun show because I, I got some some I did some research. This was so bad. <laughs> what day of the shoot would you say everyone on set gave up and said "eff it"? What day? Because you could tell nobody in this movie wanted to be there. So yeah. what was the point they all looked around and said, oh, we, we're toast. Like, we just, how are we going to get through this? Brian, I don't know what Dakota Johnson's powers were, but if you put her behind a vehicle, she is unstoppable. <gasps> fast, fast 11. Not too late. <laughs> it's not too late. <laughs> She, I didn't get the point. When those girls were dancing on the top of the table, Brian, mm. I was like, why? See, that's what I mean. That scene feels to me like a, we've already given up. We all have to run. <laughs> that's what it to, felt I, like. I wanted to say it, but I was like, I don't know if he's talking about that, but the last <laughs> scene was like, what are we doing here? So the other thing I wanted to ask was because we obviously had some fun at the expense of that promotional image of them all in costume <laughs> where is that on the worst marketing compared to what was actually in the film given that spoiler alert there are no costumes in this film that is a reference to a very brief flash forward that occurs twice in the movie but has nothing to do with the actual movie that was basic though that was wow they, they showed you everything they needed to show you in the trailers and in the posters and everything. It's just, I don't... Will this be the beginning of picketing and, and, and people not wanting to go see Sony movies just based on the fact that they're literally just basically just giving us stuff for the purposes of what? Getting out money? There was no way I was paying for this. No way. That's like telling me, yo, this is horrible restaurant. Go check it out. Why? My next question. I think I know the answer, but I got to ask it. We know that Venom 3 is basically in the can. Craven's in the can. We have to get those. Have we now officially certified the end 
of the failure that is the Sony Spider-Verse with 2024? How can they proceed after these types of efforts? The only way they can proceed is by giving Tom Holland a hell of a lot of money to tell another story. If I were Tom Holland, I'd be like, yo, listen, I ain't doing nothing. I ain't doing no movies beyond. I said it's over. Right? Toby Maguire, too. I'd be like, yo, I ain't doing it. What's his uh, Garfield? I ain't doing it. That's it. Miles Morales, don't do it. Don't do it. Stop doing it because this is what Sony's going to give you. They're playing with us, Brian. This is just, it's like for people to really go out and, and papers to see a movie that is hard. Why are we paying to see horribleness? Why are we paying good, hard-earned money for horribleness, for people who do not care to give you quality? It's blatant. This goes back to a couple of the key themes we've been on, which is the politics of who's in charge and this whole charade that Sony keeps talking about. I'm going to keep drilling these 900 character figures in their face (laughs) until we get the reality, which is there's still only one. And to me, that's one of, in this movie, it was the most blatant, right? Like Morbius was a bad movie, but Morbius did not attempt to make you think about Peter Parker. Yes, there was a cameo for Vulture at the very end, but this movie threw Peter Parker in your face at every yeah, turn. Yeah, 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 Spoiler yeah, yeah, alert. Yeah, yeah. Ben Parker's a character. Mary Parker's a character. You attend Peter Parker's baby shower. <laughs> Here's a dude dressed as Spider-Man, not called Spider-Man, where you have no idea where the costume came from, but he's Spider-Man. Like yeah. Everything about this movie reeks of Spider-Man without them ever saying Peter Parker or saying Spider-Man. Yeah, That's blatant. That's a blatant yeah. admission that he's the only character you actually have at your disposal. Dakota Johnson stated that she thought this was going to be similar to what uh, Terminator, right? This was, I mean, Brian, would it, it have made it any better? This was this would have been just simply a, term, a Terminator ripoff. It would have made it perhaps even worse. But this dude is scared of of, of his dreams that he's, I, I just, I don't get it. Did you say I, web? <laughs> One of the worst villain lines of all time. That should be memed for all. Did you say web? <laughs> See, my theater laughed at that. I, I was like, all right, at least the people get, get that that's not supposed to be funny, but that's funny. <laughs> If you do see the scene, it's funny. Oh, snap. And I saw it in Spanish. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, it, was, it, it, was just, it was just horrible. So Continue. you said, yeah, this is a good point. Dakota Johnson has said, quote, there were drastic changes to the script after she signed on. She hasn't seen the movie uh, and won't see the movie. Yeah, good move. Um, <laughs> but I agree with you. Like, <laughs> I'm not a, like... This is not a release the Snyder Cut situation. But if someone wanted to leak the original script that she claims was better, I would like to see that because I am so dubious that there ever was a script that would have made us believe this was a character we wanted to see on screen. Yeah. I, I, I... And, and, and let me let me double down on that because I gotta see, this is my research. I'm gonna. I'm gonna give you a couple. Of, I'm gonna give you a couple of names. I guarantee you never heard, but at the end of this podcast, you will not forget Matt okay. Sazama and Burke Sharpless. Those are the guys that wrote Mobius. Oh, not just they uh-huh, have some other- five <laughs> film credits on their resume. Let me List read them. you the five and how critics thought of the five. And if any of you, if any of you have seen all five, please post in the comment section. I have not. Their first movie was. The Luke Evans Dracula Untold, which was supposed to be part of the MonsterVerse. Rotten Tomatoes, Ooh. 25%. Their next movie. I saw that. Oh, all right. I did not. That's what the... Um, Luke Evans. He's the yeah, star. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Their second movie, Vin Diesel in The Last Witch Hunter, 18% yeah, on Rotten yeah, Tomatoes. That one. Their third movie, Gods of Egypt, 
That was a horrendous movie. Disaster. Huge budget, massive failure. 14% on Rotten Tomatoes. And then, yes, they wrote Morbius, 15%. And now Madam Web, 13%. Let me repeat that. Five films, Rotten Tomatoes score, 25%, 18%, 14%, 15%, 13%. What this do you is... expect when you put them in charge of your script? I think somebody got... Got a vote and be like, yo, do let the, let my peoples do it or we releasing everything. This has to be because it's like, how do you, it's like if this dude opened up five restaurants and all of them received five Fs, why would you hire him again? But that that restaurateur would never get a chance to open that fifth restaurant. Come on. If, if, so, what's, if so what happened? We were so bad at that. Okay. Now. I got, I, I'm not going to kill them 100%. Here's why. Because I can't begrudge two guys taking bags right and left if <laughs> studios are willing to give them the roles. But I don't understand how. I'll tell you how. Next okay. leg of my research. <laughs> okay. Tom <laughs> Rothman. Another name people okay. should know. You brought this up on a prior show, the Amy Pascal Kevin Feige sort of alliance around Spider-Man. Now, Amy Pascal was the so head of Sony when Sam Raimi's Spider-Man was created. She stayed the head of Sony into the 2010s. Uh, she actually lost her job over that big um, leak. Remember, it was like that leak of all the Sony emails? That, uh, ca that caused her yeah, to resign. Yeah. She does remain a producer on Spider-Man only. So not Spider-Verse, Spider-Man. Spider-Man. She is also the one who picked up the phone and let Kevin, like, struck a deal with Kevin Feige. So we can't kill him. But Amy Pascal's not in the room for this. This is Tom Rothman's deal. Tom Rothman was the head of Fox who thought the original X-Men would fail. After X2 was successful, he got so mad because Brian Singer went to do Superman Returns, he had him locked out of the studio and brought in Brett Ratner to do X-Men Last Stand. That went well. He then took over X-Men Origins Wolverine. He's the one who gave you Ryan Reynolds as Deadpool in his original form because, quote, it was feared Reynolds, if he could talk, would be too entertaining and would upstage Hugh Jackman. Tom Rothman. Tom Rothman also refused to then allow Ryan Reynolds to do his Deadpool movie for reportedly over five, six years. Tom Rothman, also the head of Fox behind Ben Affleck's Daredevil, Jennifer Garner's Elektra, Oh Every God. single Fantastic Four movie we've gotten to date. The same guy is running the Sony Spider-Verse today. So, yes, Matt go. Tazama and Burke Sharpless, I'm looking at you and feeling like you awfully lucky to be in the game. But at the end of the day, I think the Emperor Palpatine of this is Tom Rothman <laughs> again. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it has to be. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah there, there you go, Nerd Jet Report. <laughs> Research, <laughs> facts. <laughs> <laughs> so why are we surprised when you look at the persons involved why are we surprised that we're sitting here talking about a total loss of a film like this i don't i don't understand how bad movies continue to be made under a person who has a record of making bad movies that just doesn't make sense yeah you know, better it just, it, yeah get ahead. but i say and clearly when you look at the budgeting that's going on his plan with this is to run lower budgets and aim for lower box office, which basically means it's code for I'm going to make crappy movies. Now I'm not saying oh. big. Now I'm not saying big budget equals great movie. We know it doesn't. But what I am saying is like you're kind of half in on this universe. But he can't continue to make movies like this and and not make money, right? Correct, but I think there's an arrogance to that, thinking they were going to make money, right? He, I think when he greenlit these projects and came up with this idea, he was thinking, aha, everyone likes superhero movies, so I've got the money in the bag. So if I just cut the budget, if I gut the budget and kind of pull the wool over everyone's eyes and make it think that it's tangential to Spider-Man, I, I can get enough people to the theater to where I can more than cover my costs, make money, and keep cranking these B-level movies out. Now, they were giving us F-level movies with these type of films, but I think that's kind of been the thinking. But audiences are way too smart for that. Way too smart for that. This is an it's insult. Such a, it's, it's, it, insult is the word. 
when I see that Marvel flipping in front of this movie, yo, it's like, yo, man, what are you trying to do here, yo? It's like, really, man, people, you, we, we, we gotta stop supporting films. I know we want, we like going to the films. We like going to see movies. But let's get, let's go to the movie. Let's not give our money to whack movies, to movies that you know is gonna be whack. That's crazy to me. It doesn't make any sense. I was just going to say, my, my last thing was like, Dakota, I mean, Dakota Johnson, the whole point of the character is the ability to see the future. And I feel like I, I need Aaron Taylor Johnson as Quicksilver just running across. The- you didn't see that coming? What was the but, upside? What was the, there was, I just, I failed to see what the upside was. And I, I mean, I think it's a formality, but I mean, I'm at zero stars. Are you giving it any stars? It's hard to find any specific I was trying to sort of look for something like, oh, that's pretty dope. It's hard to remember with all the horribleness that there was. So yeah, this movie doesn't, is there with the room, horribleness, atrocities. And and people are gonna, uh, 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 and the question is, for, are, are people, are you guys gonna continue supporting this, these movies? You know, it's like, really, yo? Don't you want to see good movies? Don't you remember the days of No Way Home, Endgame, Infinity War? And we're paying, we pay, I think we paid the same money. But yet we're paying money to see garbage. R.I.P. Christopher Reeve, garbage, garbage eating garbage. Garbage is like, come on. <laughs> you gotta do better. We gotta do better. Let us know in the comment section below what you guys thought of Madam Web. I don't care, really. I, I really don't care. There's, 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 really no, there's no point of discussing this. This is simply stop watching Sony movies, get Tom Holland to go, get Marvel to get Spider-Man back. But with, with what's happening at Marvel, we don't know what's going to happen, but Sony cannot continue to make Spider-Man movies. They just cannot. The show goes on! Yeah!